What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, in honor of my oldest friend, Andy Dillon, who is raging against cancer, so much love to you, thought in his honor I would read the entire script, the seminal work of Jim Cash and Jack Epps Jr., fellow Michiganders, Top Gun. Blockbuster movie from 1986. Let's see if we can read the whole thing together. Because, I don't know if you know this, but both me and Andy are... Huge Top Gun aficionados. Top Gun. Indian Ocean. Present day. Good morning, Scott. Morning, Willis. How are you? Ghost Rider, this is Strike. We have unknown aircraft. Inbound Mustang. Your vector 090 for bogey. Who's up there? Cougar and Merlin and Maverick and Goose. Great. Maverick and Goose. Talk to me, Goose. Roger, I got him. Contact, 20 left at 30 miles, 900 knots closure. Cougar, you hear that? Roger, Merlin, you got him? Roger, I've got radar contact. I'll get a visual. Cougar, you hook him. Roger, and I'll clean him and fry him. Aha! Mustang. Mustang, this is Ghost Rider. 203. I've got him inbound. Bogey heading 270 at 10 miles, 900 knots closure. Ghost Rider, take Angels 10, left 3-0. Are we supposed to have visitors today? Negative, sir. Merlin, see if he's alone. Roger. Goose, you see a trailer? Negative, Merlin. Looks like he's a single. I'm going to go head, head, head with him. Take it easy, Maverick. I don't like this shit. I'm breaking high right to see if he's really alone. We've got him coming right at us. Okay, buddy. What's on your mind? Holy shit, there's two of them. Whoa, MiG-28s. No one's been this close before. What are they doing here? What's the position? 250 miles out. 250 miles? Clear them out. Cougar, you've got MiG-1. I'm going after MiG-2. I've lost him in the sun. Shit, what's he doing? You got him, Merlin? He's coming around right on our tail. God damn it! This bogey's all over me. What's the range now? 200 miles, sir. If they break 150 miles, launch the Alert 5 aircraft. Yes, sir. Airspeed 300. Get him, Mav. I'm going for missile lock. Let's scare this guy out of here. Come on, baby. Lock up, baby. Lock up. I've got him locked. Bingo! We've got him, Mav. He's bugging out and going home. Mustang. This is Maverick. Mid-2 is headed home. What's her position? 180 miles. Bearing 010, sir. Cougar, he's got missile lock on us. Get away from this guy. What is this shit? He's engaging me? Damn it, Mustang. This is Ghost Rider. This bogey's all over me. He's got missile lock on me. Do I have permission to fire? Do not fire until fired upon. Goose, there they are below us. The MiG's in perfect firing position. He's right on Cougar's tail. No way, Goose. He'd have fired already. He's trying to piss us off. Maverick, get down here and get this asshole off me. Easy, Cougar. Bring him back. Hard right. Help me engage. I'm on my way. Can't shoot this son of a bitch. Let's try having some fun with him. Is this your idea of fun, Mav? Greetings. Watch the birdie. Jeez, I crack myself up. This is a great shot, Mav. I should be a photographer. Cougar, your tail is clear. MiG-1 is bugged out. <gasps> Cougar, this is Maverick. Had enough fun for one day, don't you think? I'm getting a little low on fuel, so we're heading home. We'll see you on deck. We're running low on gas. we got to get out of here. Cougar, we're on vapor, Cougar. Let's do it. Cougar, come on, Cougar. Take it back to the ship, man. Come on, Cougar. Get him on deck as soon as possible. He's got to be low on fuel. Cougar, we've got to land this thing. We are way low on gas. You understand me? You all right, man? Maverick, you're at three quarters of a mile. Call the ball. Roger, Maverick has the ball. Cougar, let's land. Goose, Cougar's in trouble. Come on, Mav. We're getting low on gas. Let's land this sucker. Cougar! God damn. Damn it, Maverick. We've got no fuel for this. We're going after Cougar. You tell him to land that plane. That's an order. Ghost Rider, you instructed to land. Land immediately. Any of you boys see an aircraft carrier around here? Mav, we've got a little problem up here. That MiG really screwed him up. I don't think he can make it back. You're okay, Cougar. Just stay on my wing. I'll take you all the way in. Just stay with me. Easy, Cougar. Just walk in the park, buddy. You're a little low. You're a little low, Coog. Come on, buddy. Pull up. 
Pull up, Cougar. That's it. Almost there. You're well below glide path. Three quarters of a mile. Call the ball. Roger ball. We're too low, Cougar. We're too low, Cougar. Pull up. Some more power. More power. Come in. Sir. Cougar, you should be in sick bay. What's on your mind? My wife and kids, sir. Almost orphaned them today without ever seeing them. I don't know what happened up there, but I was so scared. Come on. We've seen this before. No, sir. I'm holding on too tight. I've lost the edge. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Cougar! Thanks, Maverick. Maverick! Goose! Come in here! What the hell's going on? I don't know. Oh, shit. Maverick! What you just did up there was an incredibly brave thing. What you should have done was land your plane. You don't own that plane, the taxpayers do. Son, your ego is writing checks your body can't cash. You've been busted. You lost your qualifications as section leader three times, put in hack twice by me. For a history of high speed passes over five air control towers and one admiral's daughter, Penny Benjamin. And you, you asshole, you're lucky to be here. Thank you, sir. Let's not bullshit, Maverick. Your family name ain't the best in the Navy. You need to be doing it better and cleaner than the other guy. Now, what is it with you? Just want to serve my country. Be the best pilot in the Navy, sir. Don't screw around with me, Maverick. You're a hell of an instinctive pilot. Maybe too good. I'd like to bust your butt, but I can't. I got another problem here. I got to send somebody from this squadron to Miramar. I got to do something here. I, I, I still can't believe it. I got to give you your dream shot. I'm going to send you up against the best. You two characters are going to Top Gun. For five weeks, you're going to fly against the best fighter pilots in the, in the world. You were number two. Cougar was number one. Cougar lost it. Turned in his wings. You guys are number one. But you remember one thing. You screw up just this much. You'll be flying a cargo plane loaded with rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong. Yes, sir. That is all. You can tell me about the make some other time. Gentlemen. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. During Korea, the Navy kill ratio was 12 to 1. We shot down 12 of their jets for every one of ours. During Vietnam, that ratio fell to 3 to 1. Our pilots become dependent upon missiles. Lost some of their dogfighting skills. Now, Top Gun was created to teach ACM, Air Combat Maneuvering. Dogfighting. This gives me a hard on. By Vietnam's end, the ratio is back to 12 to 1. Don't tease me. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to our commanding officer at Top Gun. The first man awarded the Top Gun trophy. You will not find a finer fighter pilot anywhere in the world. Commander Mike Metcalf. Call sign Viper. Gentlemen, you are the top 1% of all naval aviators. The elite. Best of the best. We'll make you better. You'll fly at least two combat missions a day, 10 classes in between, and evaluations of your performance. In each combat sequence, you're going to meet a different challenge. Every encounter is going to be more difficult. We're going to teach you to fly the F-14 right to the edge of the envelope, faster than you've ever flown before, and more dangerous. Now, we don't make policy here, gentlemen. Elected officials, civilians do that. We are the instruments of that policy. And although we're not at war, we must always act as though we are at war. What are you doing? Just wondering who's the best. In case some of you wonder who the best is, they're up here on this plaque. The best driver and his reel from each class is on it. And they have the option to return here to be Top Gun instructors. You think your name's going to be on that plaque? Yes, sir. That's pretty arrogant considering the company you're in. Yes, sir. I like that in a pilot. Just remember, when it's over out there, we're all on the same team. Gentlemen, the school's about combat. There are no points for second place. Dismissed. Nice going. Uh, the plaque for the alternates is down in the ladies' room. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, you kill me. Oh, you really do. No, no, no. There's two O's in Goose Boys. Hi. 
This is what I call a target-rich environment. You live your life between your legs, Mav. Goose, even you could get laid in a place like this. I'd be happy to find a girl to talk dirty to me. Mav, you want to know who the best is? That's him, Iceman. That's the way he flies, ice cold, no mistakes. Just wears you down, you get bored, frustrated, do something stupid, and he's got gotcha. you. Hey, Slider, I thought you wanted to be a pilot, man. What happened? Goose, you're such a dickhead. Whose butt did you kiss to get in here anyway? Well, the list is long, but distinguished. Yeah, well, so is my Johnson. So you're flying with Iceman, huh? Mr. Iceman to you. Hey, Mother Goose, how's it going? Tom, this is Pete Mitchell, Tom Kazansky. Congratulations on Top Gun, thank you. Sorry to hear about Cougar, we were close in flight school, he's a good man. Still is a good man. That's what I meant, I thought so. Say, you need any help? With what? You figured it out yet? What's that? Who's the best pilot? No, I think I can figure that one out on my own. I heard that about you. You like to work around alone. Mav, you must have soloed under a lucky star. First the MiG, then you guys slide into Cougar Spot. We didn't slide into Cougar Spot. It was ours, okay? Some pilots wait their whole career to see a MiG up close. I guess you guys are lucky and famous, huh? No, you mean notorious. I'll see you later. You can count on it. They were abused children. We're going to have a good time. Always. Always. Okay, I guess it's my turn, isn't it? All right, the bet is $20. $20. You have to have carnal knowledge of a lady this time on the premises. On the premises. Come on, Mav, a bet's a bet. I don't know. It just doesn't seem fair. For you, I mean. But uh, she's lost that love and feeling. She's lost. No, no, she hasn't. Yes, she has. She has not lost that love. Goose, she's lost it. Mav, come on. <sighs> Hate it when she does that. Shit. Excuse me, miss. Hey, hey, don't worry. I'll take care of this. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. You're trying hard not to show it, baby. But baby, believe me, I know it. You've lost that love and feeling. Whoa, that love and feeling. You've lost that love and feeling. Now it's gone, gone, gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ba-doom, 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 boom. Sit down. It's in the script, guys. I got to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Baby, baby, I get down on my knees for you. I love that song. I've never seen that approach. How long have you two had this act? Oh, I don't know, since puberty? Right, puberty. I'm Charlotte Blackwood. I'm Maverick. Maverick? Did your mother not like you or something? No, it's my call sign. Oh, you're a pilot. That's right. A naval aviator. Oh. Actually, we've only done this uh, twice. Oh, how'd you do? Crashed and burned on the first one. It wasn't pretty. And the second? I don't know. I'll tell you tomorrow, but it's looking good so far. <laughs> well, uh, Maverick, my friends just arrived, so it's been great talking to you. Perry, hi. Here you go. I'll be with you in just a second, okay? Listen, can I ask you a uh, personal question? That depends. Are you a good pilot? I can hold my own. Great. Then I won't have to worry about you making your living as a singer. Hi, here's your drink, thanks. I'm going to need a beer to put these flames out. Yo! That's great, Mav. Real slick. It was a long cruise, wasn't it, sailor? Too long. What'd you want to do? Just drop right down on the tile and go for it? No, actually, I had this counter in mind. Great. That would be very comfortable. Yeah, it could be. Actually, I came in here to save you from making a big mistake with that older guy. Really? So I can make a bigger one with a young guy like yourself? Maybe. I've got to be at work early in this morning. Then what are you doing here? Your friend was magnificent. Nah!
You'll also be trained and evaluated by a few civilian specialists. The civilians are here because they are our best source of information on enemy planes. One of the most qualified is our tag rep, call sign Charlie. She has a PhD in astrophysics and she is also a civilian contractor, so you do not salute her. But you better listen to her because the Pentagon listens to her about your proficiency. It's all yours, Charlie. Thank you. Hello. We'll be dealing with F5s and A4s as our MiG simulators. Now then, as most of you know, the F5 doesn't have the thrust to weight ratio that the MiG-28 has, and it doesn't bleed energy below 300 knots like the MiG-28. However, the MiG-28 does have a problem with, with its inverted flight tanks. It won't do a negative G pushover. Latest intelligence tells us that the most it will do is one negative... Excuse me, Lieutenant, is there something wrong? Uh, yes, ma'am, the data on the MiG is inaccurate. How's that, Lieutenant? I just happened to see a MiG-28. We! We! Sorry, Goose. We happened to see a MiG-28 do a 4G negative dive. Where did you see this? Uh, that's classified. It's what? It's classified? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Lieutenant, I have top secret clearance. The Pentagon sees to it that I know more than you. Doesn't seem so in this case now, does it? So, Lieutenant, where exactly were you? Well, we, thank you, started up on him when he pulled through the clouds and then I moved in above him. If you were directly above him, how could you see him? Because I was inverted. <laughs> Bullshit! No man, he was. It was a really great move. He was inverted. You were in a 4G inverted dive with a MiG-28? Yes, ma'am. At what range? Uh, about two meters. It was actually about one and a half. I've got a great Polaroid of it and he's right there. It was a nice picture. Uh, Lieutenant, what were you doing? Um, communicating? Communicating. Keeping up foreign relations. That was it. Giving him the bird? You know, the finger! Yes, I know the finger, Goose. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I hate it when it does that. Excuse me. So you're the one. Yes, ma'am. All right, gentlemen, we have a hop to take. The hard deck on this hop is 10,000 feet. There'll be no engagement below that. Move it! Lieutenant. Okay, well, uh, don't be look at, well, eat again. You look great, honey. Thanks, dear. See you in pre-flight. Lieutenant, why didn't you tell me you were a famous MiG insulter? Would it have made any difference? Not in the ladies' room, no. What would have? I'm an instructor at this school. I see 20 new hotshots every eight weeks. Now, I'm sure you can figure that out. Look, Lieutenant, I just really like to hear about the MiG sometime. You've got security clearance. You can read about it. Maverick, I'm curious. Who was covering Cougar while you were showboating with this MiG? Cougar was doing just fine. Uh-huh. Gentlemen, this is your first top. The jets you are flying against are smaller, faster, and more maneuverable, just like the enemy MiGs. Clock is ticking, and now we're keeping score. I lost him, Goose. Show me what you got, kid. I lost him. I'm looking. Got him. He's on our tail, coming hard. Yeah, I've got him. Here we go. Talk to me, Goose. He's still back there, closing in on us. He's closing fast. You can run, kid, but you can't hide. Jester, let's see if I can give you a run for your money. Watch the mountains. He's still back there, Mav. Come on, do some of that pilot shit. Yeah, I've got him. Bring it right. I've had about enough of this shit. I'll hit the brakes and I'll fly right past. Okay, you're mine. Woo! Jesus Christ. Woo! Let's see what you got now, Jester. Okay, man, let's turn and burn. He's going vertical, so am I. We're going ballistic. Go get him, Mav. He's going for the hard deck. Let's get down there first and nail him. No way, Jester. You're mine. I've got you. Woo! Jester's dead. Woo! Jester's dead. Yeehaw! Get your butts above hard deck. Return to base immediately. Yes, sir. Tower, this is Ghost Rider requesting a flyby. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. No, Mav, this is not a good idea. Sorry, Goose, but it's time to buzz the tower. God damn, son of a bitch. Yeehaw! Ha ha! Great balls of fire. Yeehaw! Chester's dead. You won? That's bullshit, didn't everybody? Hell no, man. We got our butts kicked. We went like this. He went like that. I said to Hollywood, where'd he go? Hollywood said, where'd who go? And he's laughing at us right on the radio. No, it's me laughing, dickhead. We won. All right, they won too, man. That's not what I heard. Well, we did. We got Jester. Below the hard deck does not count. Hard deck my ass. We nailed that son of a bitch. You guys really are cowboys. What's your problem, Kazansky? You're everyone's problem. That's because every time you go up in the air, you're unsafe. I don't like you because you're dangerous. That's right. Ice. 
Man, I am dangerous. Maverick, you and Goose, get your butts out of that flight gear and up to Viper's office now. Remember, boys, no points for second place. <laughs> You're a lot brighter than you look. You shut up, okay? Don't worry, Goose. Two of your snot-nosed jockeys did a fly by my tower at over 400 knots. I want somebody's butt. I want it now. I've had it. God damn it, that's twice. I want some butts. Well, that'll just about cover the flybys. Follow me. Gentlemen, you had a hell of a first day. The hard deck for this hop was 10,000 feet. You knew it. You broke it. You followed Commander Heatherly below after he lost sight of you and called no joy. Why? Sir, I had Commander Heatherly in my sights. He saw me move in for the kill. He then proceeded below the hard deck. We weren't below 10,000 for more than a few seconds. I had the shot. There was no danger, so I took it. You took it! And broke a major rule of engagement. Then you broke another one with that circus stunt flyby. Lieutenant Mitchell, Top Gun rules exist for your safety and for that of your team. They are not flexible, nor am I. Either I obey them or you are history. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Dismissed. I really enjoyed that, Matt. Thanks a lot. Holy shit. Maybe I could be a, learn to be a truck driver. You have that number for truck driving school on TV? Truck master, I think it is. I might need that. His fitness report says it all. He's a wild card. Flies by the seat of his pants. Completely unpredictable. He got you, didn't he? Yeah. Maverick. I flew with his old man. Tell me one thing. If you had to go into battle, would you want him with you? I don't know. I just don't know. Still awake? Yeah. What's up? Can't sleep? When I first realized we were going to Top Gun, all I could think about was getting that trophy. I gotta be straight with you, Mav, right now. I just hope we graduate. I've got a family to think about. I can't afford to blow this. I guess that flyby wasn't such a big hit, huh? Look, man, I know it's tough for you. They wouldn't let you in the academy because you're Duke Mitchell's kid. You have to live with that reputation. But it's like every time we go up there, it's like you're flying against a ghost. It makes me nervous. You're the only family I've got. I'm not going to let you down, I promise. Get out of here. A rolling reversal would work well in that situation. If I reversed on a hard cross, I could immediately go to guns on him. At that speed, it's too fast. It's a little bit too aggressive. Too aggressive? Yeah, I guess when I see something, I go right after it. You didn't tell me who you were the other night. You didn't give me a chance, did you? You deserved it. I know. But, uh, you were tempted to ask me out for dinner. No. 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 I don't date students. I can see it's dangerous for you, but if the government trusts me, maybe you could. It takes a lot more than just fancy flying. Crash and burn, huh, Mav? Slider. You stink. Let's go. Okay, Ice, yeah. We won! We won! Come on, Mav! Just one more game. That evens it out. We can take them. I've got some things I've got to take care of. Just one more game, please, for me. Sorry. You're sorry. Come on. Mother Goose, you pussy! Damn it! Lieutenant, uh, what? No singing? Look, I'm, I'm, uh, no apologies. If you don't mind, I'm gonna just take a quick shower while you're finishing up here. Yeah, I do mind. I'm hungry. And then I thought about it. I thought, you know, Charlie, he's a smart guy. Why don't you just tell him while you've got him here? Well, it's the MiG. The MiG. You're the only pilot who's been up against a MiG-28. I'm trying for this big promotion of work, and if I get it, I won't be here much longer. Seems to me you've got it all figured out. <laughs> yeah. Except you did forget the wine. <laughs> oh, sorry. You always get what you want? No, not always. Yeah, maybe. Then relax about the MiG. This music. An old friend? My folks loved it. I haven't heard this in years. My mother used to call down from her room and have me play this over and over again. I got so sick of it. But not her. She'd just sit up there alone, just listening for hours. Just listening. 
She died shortly after him. So what happened to your father? I guess I kind of figured with your security clearance, you'd know more about him than I do. Well, I didn't get that far. Oh. Well, it's a big mystery. He disappeared in an F4 November 5th, 1965. The stink of it was he screwed up. No way. My old man was a great fighter pilot. But who the hell knows? It's all classified. Somebody must know. Yeah, somebody knows everything. Is this why you're always second best up there? You are direct, aren't you? I'm sorry I was late. I'm sorry for being direct. No apologies. This is going to be complicated. Where are you going? I'm going to take a shower. Thank you. I enjoyed being here. It looks like you need another shower. <laughs> right. I'm going to be honest with you. Your MIG sighting is really important to my work, but um, I don't normally invite students to my house. You're, uh... But please understand, I still have a job to do. Morning, sir. I'm glad we got that straight. I told her how tough it is here. My ass dragging like an old tired dog. I told her that you didn't even have a woman up here. You know what she said? He probably doesn't have one. He's got eight. Diddy! So, Goose tells me you're in love with one of your instructors. Is that right? I didn't tell her that. Yes, you did. I can't believe you said that. That was a secret. The bogey has good position right here. All right, freeze frame. All right, freeze frame. Moment of choice. The F-14 is defensive. He has a chance to bug out right here. Better to retire and save your aircraft than push a bad position. Charlie, jump in here anytime. Stay in that diamond another three seconds. The bogey's going to blow you out of the sky. You take a hard right, select zone five. You can extend and escape. You made a bad choice. Charlie, aircraft one performs a split S. That's the last thing you should do. The MiG's right on your tail. Freeze there, please. The MiG has you in his sights. What were you thinking at this point? You don't have time to think. If you think, you're dead. That's a big gamble with a $30 million plane, Lieutenant. Unfortunately, the gamble worked, and the MiG never got a clean shot. Maverick makes an aggressive vertical move. Here, comes over the top and defeats the bandit with a missile shot. The encounter was a victory, but I think we've shown it as an example of what not to do. Next. Gutsiest move I ever saw, man. Now, this is a perfect example of a textbook maneuver. Lieutenant! Maverick! Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Lieutenant, my review of your flight performance was right on, my professional opinion. I can't hear you! Jesus Christ, do you think I'm reckless? When I fly, I'll have you know that my crew and my plane come first. I, I'm going to finish my sentence, Lieutenant. My review of your flight performance was right on. Is that right? That is right. But I held something back. I see a real genius in your flying, Lieutenant, but I can't say that in there. I was afraid that everyone would see right through me, and I just don't want anyone to know that I've fallen for you. Hey Maverick, yeah, you hear about ice? What's that? You want another one? Really? Yeah. I feel the need. The need. Full speed. Gentlemen, this is Hop 19. Multiple aircraft, multiple bogeys. Your training is half over. The competition for Top Gun Trophy remains tight. First place, Iceman. Second place, Maverick. Just two points behind. There they are, three miles left, 10 o'clock. I don't think they see us yet. Okay, I see them. 2A4 is left, 10 o'clock. Continue left turn. Good morning, gentlemen. The temperature's 110 degrees. Holy shit, it's Viper. Viper's up here. Great. Oh, shit. Great. He's probably saying, holy shit, it's Maverick and Goose. Yeah, I'm sure he's saying that. I've got my eye on the northern bogey. Roger, I got the southern guy. Hollywood, you lead. I'll cover you. Break now, Jester. Hollywood, we're losing Viper. Just stay on Jester. Roger, I'm on him. Goose, find Viper. He's out there somewhere. Stay with Hollywood, Mav. We're covering his wing. Goose, there's Viper. Three o'clock low. Stay with Hollywood. Where's cover? Don't you leave me, Maverick. Hollywood, you're looking good. I'm going after Viper. God damn you, Maverick. Mav, don't leave him. Goose, Hollywood's okay. I want Viper. Stand by. Viper's coming down. Holy shit, we're head to head. I can't believe we're doing this. Woo, rock and roll. Here's our chance. It's a big one, Goose. Come on, God damn it! Come on, Mav! Keep coming! Okay, Sidewinder, missile selected. Come on, baby! Come on! Come around! Come around! That's it! That's it! 
Jesus, this guy's good. Goose, where's he going? Come on, come on, keep coming, keep coming. Come on, baby. Damn, this kid's good. He's too close for missiles, Goose. I'm switching to guns. Come on, come on, stick with it, stick with it. Hold it, Goose, check our tail. Shit, there's Jester. Bingo, Maverick's dead. You're out of there, kid. Shit. The Defense Department regrets to inform you that your sons are dead because they were stupid. Great balls of fire. Okay, knock it off, gentlemen. Let's go home. Viper has a lead. I'm coming in. Shut up, butt nose. That was the best, some of the best flying I've ever seen, right up to the part where you got killed. You never, never leave your wingman. Maverick, it's not your flying. It's your attitude. The enemy's dangerous, but right now, you're worse than the enemy. You're dangerous and foolish. You may not like your wingman, they may not like you, but whose side are you on? At least Viper got Iceman before he got us. We still got a shot at it. That was stupid. I know better than that. That will never happen again. I know. I know. Would you go fetch him? Doesn't he ever embarrass you? Hell no. Well, there was this time. The Admiral's daughter? What? He told me about the time you went ballistic with Penny Benjamin. Did he? Well, that's great. He tells me about all of them, Maverick. How my little angel goose goes home early for church and you... You always go home with the hot women. All right. Thank you, Carol. I'm going to go embarrass myself with Goose for a while. Woo-hoo! Ow! I'd love to be able to warn you off about Maverick, but I just love him to death. I've known Pete for a lot of years now, and, one, and I'm telling you one thing's for certain. There are hearts breaking wide open all over the world tonight. Why? Because unless you are a fool, that boy's off the market. He is 100% prime time in love with you. Hey, Goose, you big stud. That's me, honey. Take me to bed or lose me forever. Show me the way home. Come on, sing with the family. Ah -ha! Maverick, you big stud. Take me to bed or lose me forever. Okay, gentlemen, this is Hop 31. Two weeks to graduation. Top Gun trophy still up for grabs, so every point counts. It's the bottom of the night. The score is tied. It's time for the big one. You up for this one, Maverick? Just a walk in the park, Kazanski. Contact. Multiple bogeys. One, six, five. Two miles. Looks like they're going away from us. Ho, I see them. Tally ho. Right two o'clock. I'm in. I'm in. That son of a bitch cut me off. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. Ice, take the shot. Ice, get the hell out of there. I can't get the angle. I'm too close for missiles. Switching the guns. Ice. Fire or clear? Look at this. Jesus Christ, I could take the shot right here. I need another 20 seconds, then I've got him. I'm moving in. I've got the shot. Mav, let's get in there. Come on, Mav. Maverick's getting impatient. Come on, take the shot. 10 more seconds, then I've got him. Ice, get out of there. Let's do it, Mav. Ice, come off high right. I'm in. Five more seconds. Come off high right, Ice. I'm in. I'm off. Shit. Where is Jet Wash? Holy shit. This is not good. We got a flame out. Engine one is out. Engine two is out. Goose, I'm losing control. I'm losing control. I can't control it. It won't recover. Shit. It's coupling up. We're out of control. This is not good. Mayday, mayday. Man's in trouble. He's in flat spin. Headed out to sea. Altitude, 8,000. 7,000. Six. We're at six, Mav. Ah, I'm pinned forward. Goose, I can't reach the injection handle. Goose, you have to punch us out. I can't reach the injection handle. Eject. I'm trying. Eject, eject, eject. Watch your canopy. Goose. Goose. Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sir, let go of him. You got to let him go, sir. How you doing? I'm all right. Goose is dead. I know. You fly jets long enough, something like this happens. He was my Rio. My responsibility. My squadron in Vietnam, we lost 8 of 18 aircraft. 10 men. First one dies, you die too, but there will be others. You can count on it. You got to let him go. You got to let him go. I think maybe it was my fault. I don't know. I don't know what the hell went wrong. I'd like to help. I know it's difficult. God, I want him back. I'll be here if you need me, okay? God, he loved flying with you. 
He would have flown anyway without you. He hated it, but he would have done it. We find that the F-14 flat spin was induced by the disruption of airflow into the starboard engine. This disruption stalled the engine, which produced enough yaw rate to induce a spin which was unrecoverable. There was no way Lieutenant Mitchell could either see or avoid the jet wash which produced the engine stall. Therefore, the board finds Lieutenant Pete Mitchell was not at fault in the accident of 29 July. Lieutenant Mitchell's record is cleared of this incident. Lieutenant Mitchell is restored to flight status without delay. These proceedings are closed. Get him up flying soon. Come on, kid. Get in there. Engage. You got a bogey at 2 o'clock low. You got the angle. Piece of cake. Take the shot, kid. You can engage any time. Hey, where the hell are you going? Uh, it's not good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look any better than that. Hey, man, we could have had him. Hey, we could have had him, man. I will fire when I'm goddamn good and ready. You got that? You can't get back in the saddle. Won't engage. It's only been a few days. You know, he just not might not make it back. Keep sending him up. Mitchell. I'm sorry about Goose. Everybody liked him. I'm sorry. Hey. It's a wolf, man. Yeah. Maverick just quit. Excuse me. May I? Please. I'll have what he's having. Uh, hemlock, is it? Ice water. You weren't going to say goodbye. I heard you got that job in Washington. Congratulations. Thanks. But I wasn't going to leave without saying goodbye. It's good to see you. Thanks. Where are you going? You don't even have a ticket, do you? I've seen all the evidence. It's not your responsibility. It's not your fault. You're one of the best pilots in the Navy. What you do up there is dangerous. But you've got to go on. You don't understand. When I first met you, you were larger than life. Look at you. You're not going to be happy unless you're going Mach 2 with your hair on fire. You know that. No, nah, it's over. It's just over. To be the best of the best means you make mistakes and then you go on. It's just like the rest of us. You don't think I know that? I'm here to help. Look, thank you. But if I wanted help, really, I would have asked for it. So I'm too late. You've already left. You didn't learn a damn thing, did you, except to quit? You've got that maneuver down real well. So long, Pete Mitchell. Well, hi, Maverick. Come on in. How you doing? Good. You sure you're feeling okay? Fine. Great, great. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. Make yourself comfortable. Mike will be right down. Okay, thank you. I flew with your old man, VF-51, the Oriskany. You're a lot like he was. Only better. And worse. He was a natural heroic son of a bitch, that one. So he did do it right? Yeah, he did it right. Is that why you fly the way you do, trying to prove something? Yeah, your old man did it right. What I'm about to tell you is classified. Could end my career. We were in the worst dogfight I ever dreamed of. There were bogeys like fireflies all over the sky. His F-4 was hit and he was wounded, but he could have made it back. He stayed in it, saved three planes before he bought it. How come I never heard that before? It's not something the State Department tells dependents when the battle occurred over the wrong line on some map. So you were there? I was there. What's on your mind? My options, sir. Simple. First, you've acquired enough points to show up tomorrow and graduate with your Top Gun class. Or you could quit. There'd be no disgrace. The spin was hell. It would have shook me up. So you think I should quit? I didn't say that. The simple fact is you feel responsible for Goose and you have a confidence problem. I'm not going to sit here and blow sunshine up your ass. A good pilot is compelled to evaluate what's happened so he can apply what he's learned. Up there, we've got to push it. That's our job. It's your option, Lieutenant, all yours. Sorry to bother you on a Sunday, sir. But thank you very much for your time. No problem. Good luck. Gentlemen, where's Maverick? I don't know where he is. You know what he's planning to do? Got to be hard on the guy, though, you know? Good luck. Hi, Mav. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, Mav. Sir, gentlemen, I hate to break up the party before it gets really gets out of hand, but there's work to be done. Work to be done. Some of you have to part immediately. We have a crisis situation. Ice, slider, yo! 
Hollywood, Wolfman, yes sir, Maverick, sir. Maverick, you'll get your reel when you get to your ship, and if you don't, give me a call. I'll fly with you, sir. Gentlemen, this is Bullseye. The communication ship SS Layton has become disabled and wandered into foreign territory. Rescue operation is to begin within the hour. Your mission is to give air support to that rescue. There are MiGs in the area and tensions are high. If you witness a hostile act, you will return fire. Those MiGs carry the Exocet anti-ship missile. They can fire them from 100 miles away. Gentlemen, this is the real thing. This is what you've been trained for. You are America's best. Make us proud. Ice. Yes, sir. Hollywood. Yes, sir. Sector 2. Maverick, you back them up with Merlin on Ready 5. Yes, sir. Rise. Excuse me, sir. This is not personal, but with regard to Maverick, is he the best? I know what you're thinking. Just get on it. Mustang. Can you give me a mode 4 check? Voodoo 1. You got a pair of bogeys. 12 o'clock. 15 miles. Voodoo 1. 0, 9, 0. Radar contact. 50 miles. They're doing 500 knots. Roger. That's your bogey. Got him dead ahead, 15 miles, airspeed is 600 knots. Bogies just hit 650, let's take a wider split. They're at 15,000 feet, dead ahead, 10 miles, airspeed is still increasing. Dead ahead now, 8 miles, dead ahead now, 8 miles. Wood, you got him? Not yet, I can't see him, they must be close. I'm getting a hard on. Wood, I'm taking the lead. Let's identify him. Roger, you got the lead, I'm on your left side, a little low. Maverick's up and ready and alert 5, good, good. Hollywood, my bogey's still locked up, he's drifting to the left, still maneuvering on course, 0, 9, 0. Okay, Wood, let's bring it to the right and we'll get a better angle on him. Ice, we got a problem here. We got four aircraft on radar, not one pair, two pair. Repeat, four bogeys. Wood, we got four bogeys. Make that five. There's five, sir. That's five. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. He's got a radar lock on us. Get out of there, Hollywood. God damn it. Break left. I'm hit. We're coming apart. I can't control it. We're going down. Wood's been hit. Wood's been hit. Shit, Voodoo 1. Wood's been hit. We've lost Hollywood. We've lost our wingman. Launch Maverick on alert 5. Get a bearing on Hollywood and Wolfman. Launch a rescue helicopter immediately. Maverick's airborne. Iceman, what's your position? 090, 180 miles. On the left, three MiGs dead ahead. Coming down the left side. I'm going after them. I'm breaking around to the left. Four on our tail. That makes six of them. Lead MiG is coming into gun range. He's firing. Break right. Mustang, we are totally defensive. Launch the alert fires. Where are they? 160 miles of closing in fast, sir. Ready, Willard, and Simkin on Cats 3 and 4. Maverick Supersonic, I'll be there in 30 seconds. Hold your ass, I'm engaged with 5, I'm deep shit. What about Willard and Simkin? Both catapults are broken, we can't launch any aircraft yet, sir. How long? 10 minutes. Bullshit, 10 minutes, this thing will be over in 2 minutes. MiG, 12 o'clock high, MiG, 12 o'clock high, watch your back. Break right. Shit, that was close. Maverick, how about some help up here? Come on, kid, hang in there. Jesus Christ, Maverick, how about some help? Engage, damn it, he's on our tail, watch out. Shit, we just flew right flew right through his jet wash. Get control, get control. Good recovery, Mav. Okay, let's get in there. Come on. We gotta help Ice. Let's get back in the game. Maverick! It's no good. Get in there, Maverick. God damn it. Maverick's disengaging. I knew it! Shit! God damn it, Maverick! Maverick, you can't leave him! Maverick, what are you doing? Talk to me, Goose. Ice is in trouble. Talk to me, Goose. He won't last long. Get in the fight for God's sake! Maverick! Maverick! Maverick's re-engaging, sure, sir. I can't shake him. Ice. I've got your MiG dead ahead. I've got him dead ahead. Good tone. I've got good tone. I've got tone. Firing. Where? Where are they? 155 miles. Two MiGs dead ahead. Closure 800 miles an hour. I see him. I'm going to take him down the left side. Oh my God. Ice is right below us. He's got a MiG on his tail. He's firing. Break left. He overshot. He overshot. I'm coming in, Ice. Two MiGs dead ahead. I've got him, Mav. One MiG passing between us. MiG on your left. Three o'clock. He's going to fire. Maverick, check the guys to the north. Banking left. Banking left. There he is. Get him, Ice. Get him. Okay, you guys. I'm coming in. Maverick. We got a MiG on our tail. We got to get out. I can't leave Ice. He's still coming around. He's going to get behind us. I'm not leaving my wingman. I'm on his tail. I'm going for it. I'm going for the shot right now. Roger, engage. I've got radar lock. I'm taking the shot. Fire. Bingo. Wash that sucker. Ice. MiG to your right. He's firing. I'm hit. I'm hit. We're hitting the right engine. I'm shutting it down. Come on. Coming in, Ice. That bogey's still behind you. I'm maneuvering for a shot. Stay with him, Mav. Take the shot. Nail him. Ice, I can't get a tone. Shoot, Maverick. I can't get him off my tail. Maverick, we're hit again. It's okay. Both action en engines are functioning. Ice, on the count of three, break hard right. Three, two, one. Break right. Firing. Damn it. I missed. Don't let him go. Keep on him, Mav. I got him. Here comes a shot. Concrete. Maverick, move. There's a MiG on your tail. We've only got one missile left. Approaching 110 miles, sir. God damn it. I've got him. He's on us. He's on our tail. Shit. You haven't lost him. He's still with us. What are you doing? You're slowing down. I'm bringing him in closer. You're going to do what? 
This is it, Maverick. I'm going to hit the brakes. He'll fly right by. He'll get a lock. Now, I've got a good lock. Firing. Woo! Scratch four. Mustang, this is Voodoo 3. Remaining MiGs are bugging out. Mustang, this is Maverick requesting flyby. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. Excuse me? Something I should know about? Thank you. God damn that guy. Yeah. You. You are still dangerous. But you can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Maverick, how does it feel to be on the front page of every newspaper in the English-speaking world, even though on the other side denies the incident? Congratulations. Thank you, sir. They gave your choice of duty anything, anywhere. You believe that? Where do you think you want to go? I uh, thought of being an instructor, sir. Top Gun? Yes, sir. God help us. I heard the best of the best were going to be back here, so this could be complicated. You know, on the first one, I crashed and burned. And the second, I don't know, but uh, it's looking good so far. That's it. Otherwise, I'd have to sing all the songs. Top Gun, read pretty poorly by yours truly, Peter Von Panda. Out.